Hello? Hey, Ronald? Yeah? It's it's Steve Dave from Two Green. We accidentally treated your lawn over the weekend. I'm just calling to apologize. Sorry about that. Oh, you you treated it over the weekend? Yeah, well, we didn't treat it exactly. We we injected a bunch of seeds into the lawn. Oh, okay, because I didn't see any flags up or anything. Oh, no, we wouldn't do that. Not for just the seeds, because there's no chemicals. Yeah, we, we just uh, we did the front and the back and the sides. We injected seeds into every bit of your lawn. Oh, okay. For dandelions. Oh, okay, because I, I did start seeing some of those pop up. Oh, the dandelions? Yeah, I mean, not not just since uh, I guess you treated it. Mm-hmm. You, you treated it when? Uh, that would have been over the weekend. I think the truck came out e- either on Saturday or Sunday. But you're going to have thousands okay. of dandelions. We, we planted just thousands of them all over the lawn. You what? We planted thousands of dandelions in your lawn. Dandelions? Yeah, the yellow ones. You planted them? Yeah, it's it's like a new thing. They're kind of making a comeback. People are doing their whole lawns and just dandelions now. And your neighbor was getting that done, but we got the wrong address, so we accidentally did yours. So sorry about that. We won't charge you, though. So I'm going to see a bunch of dandelions in my yard now? Yeah, probably more dandelions than grass. Okay. Well, we need to fix that. Oh no, no, it, that that is fixed when you think about it cuz uh dandelions are better for for your lawn than grass is. It's better for the earth in general. They use up less water. And they have vi- And they're yellow all over the lawn. Yeah, yeah, it'll look better than the green. It's like little yellow dots all over the But th- this is going to be more like just a yellow blob. It's going to be nothing but yellow with a little bit of green. I but- don't want that. That's not what I want. Well, you, I want all solid green. Well, have you ever tried having just dandelions out there before? I don't want to try it. Well, you don't know if you don't want it if you haven't experienced it yet. Like, if you just give it another... I don't like yellow dandelions, period. Sir. That's why I spray my lawn when I see one pop up. I want a nice, completely green lawn. Okay, well, don't... I go out to guys. I go to other areas. And I see their lawns. I don't see a dandelion yard. I don't want that. I want it all green. Okay. Well, if you'll just give it a couple more weeks, you're going to see what it looks like. It's going to look amazing. It's going to look. I'm telling you, I don't care what it looks like. I don't want it. I want them killed right now. If you planted them, kill them before they come up. But you won't have to spray anymore because you'll just have dandelions and no grass. The dandelions will overtake the grass. Are Are you? Let me ask you something. Are you not hearing me? No, I hear I you. Not... It, just, it sounds like... Okay, I don't want dandelions. I don't care how nice it looks, whether I have to spray anymore, whether I have to do anything. I do not want dandelions in my yard. What about the little bumblebees? They love dandelions. I don't care about them. We'll see that. Listen to what I'm saying. Get rid of them. I want them gone. I don't want them coming up. If Sir... they come up out here, I'm going to sue you. No, you can't sue us just over dandelions. It's... It, I can sue you because you came out here without my permission and you put dandelions in my yard. Yeah, but I explained I explained that it was just an accident. We just got the wrong address. Okay, fix it you, then. You know they're not weeds though, right? They're they're from the same family as sunflowers. Fix it. I don't want them. You don't like sunflowers? No, I don't I don't want dandelions. I don't want sunflowers. I want solid green grass. The last time I'm telling you this. You sound like that guy from the Sam I Am story. You know, the green eggs and am. I, I do not want Well, I don't dandelion. care who I sound like. Don't compare me to anybody else. Okay. Well, you call me telling me you planted dandelions. I want it fixed. I want it done. Get rid of them. I don't want them. The green part of the dandelion, you can actually eat it for vitamin K and vitamin A. They're, they're a money saver. You're still trying to talk me into it. I'm not going to be talked into it. Well, I want them killed. I don't want dandelions in my yard. Sir, at period. This, at this point, you don't have much choice. I already planted them, so they're going to show up. Well, then you better get something out here to kill them real quick. You better bring out the strongest stuff you have to cure to kill dandelions. Well, then your lawn's just going to be dirt. 
It better not be because then I will definitely take you to court. Oh, so you were I'm just... taking pictures right now. I'm going to take pictures right now. When these come up, I'll take more pictures if they do. And then uh, if it turns to dirt, I'm going to take more pictures. Then we'll see each other in court. We'll see what Sir, happens there. You're being a little racist, to be honest. No, I'm not. If I came out there and planted a bunch of weeds or whatever you call them. They're not weeds. If I come out and planted a bunch of stuff in your lawn that you didn't want, you wouldn't be happy. And I'm not happy right now. Okay, but no, I'm just saying you're being a little racist about the whole thing. Racist, okay? I'm not saying anything about racist. Oh, no, no. It's just just because the name dandelion is taken from the French word dent de lion, which meaning the lion's tooth, you know, because of the... Listen, the course I, don't need a, I don't need a lecture here. I'm telling you, I don't want them in my yard. But they're pretty. You better, get out here. you better get out here and take care of it. If I start seeing a bunch of these pop up in my yard. Oh, you will. You're not going to be real happy with oh, boy. it. There, there's Neither gonna be, will your company. There's going to be thousands upon thousands of them. Can I just call you back in a week and see if you've changed your mind? I'm not changing my mind. Don't you get it? I'm telling you right now, I don't like them. You don't like them. I'm not them. changing my mind. You don't like them on I'm a train. I'm telling you right now. You do not like them in the rain. You will not have dandelions in your yard. I'm trying to think up a, a rhyme for that. I don't need <laughs> rhymes. I don't need your stories. I don't need history. I don't need that. I'm just telling you point blank. Get out here and get rid of them but what, if you plan it. What if they just got Period. carried into your lawn from... Uh, from up to five miles away from its origin, because as you know, dandelion seeds can fly up to five miles from their origin through the wind and just land in your yard. That wouldn't be our fault. No, but I've had my yard treated. I'm taking a picture right now, and since I've talked to you, I hit the record buddy uh, button shit. on my phone, and so this has been recorded too. So that you're telling me that you planted all these in my yard. I recorded also as well. I suggest you get out here and you make this right and get rid of those. If you don't, then we're going to have a big problem. What if we just apply a layer of green spray paint over the dandelion so it looks like grass? Are you a true green? Yes, of course. Do you work with, are you an employee of True Green? Oh, well, I'm more like an independent contractor. Okay, I need your name and number. It's it's like being an Avon lady. Basically, anyone can say they're an Avon lady. They just got to get some equipment and some... some, some Okay, what is your name? Seed shooters. Uh, My name is Steve Dave. Steve what? Correct. So look, Steve, uh, what? So should I just call you back in a couple weeks and see if you've changed your mind then? I'm not. No. What is your last name? Yeah, but you might. Like, you haven't seen it yet. Like, g- get on the internet. I won't change my mind. Just, just get on the internet. Quit asking me to change my mind. I'm not going to. Period. Did you know that if you mow the dandelions, that's just going to make more of them? What's your last name? Gersperms. No, it's it's Dave. Steve Dave. Dave? Days. Steve Nurse Berm. Nurse Berm. Okay. Hyphen Dave. I, I did a hyphenated name when I got married. Okay. What is your phone number? It is on your caller ID. It's the 317 number. So, anyway, I'm, I'm very well, sorry. Steve, and- I... I tell you what, you better figure out a way to fix this, because if I start getting dandelions in my yard, you guys, it's going to be hell to pay. Oh, I'm don't be like right that. Now. Don't be like that. You know, just... Don't tell me how to be. Well, you don't know me, and I'm not telling you how to be, and you're not telling me how to be. You, I own a business myself, and if I make a mistake, I fix it. I don't try and talk the customer into it, take it, you know, you'll like it, see how you like it. None of that. Crap. Do you make a lot I'm of mistakes? Not it. I'm not taking it. Do you make okay? a? Do you make either, a? Either you fix it, either you fix it, or you will wish you had. Oh, I, I don't respond well to threats, sir. I'm sorry. I, I just, 
At this point, I okay, feel I'm well, going to have to hang up. Because I've been trying to be nice to you, and you keep trying to tell me try it, and you'll like it. You're harassing that. me. I, I, I've been honest, boy, right up front and to the point. I don't want them. I didn't ask for them. I want it fixed. I don't want them here. You should Do ask, your job. Get rid of it. You should ask a friend for their opinion on your new dandelion lawn. I'm not going to ask a friend for my opinion. You don't understand. Well, the, I'm the guy. I don't care what my friend thinks, and I don't care what my neighbors think. Yeah, but this like, is what I want, and this is what I wanted. But if you get like a, a cup of dandelion greens, that's 535 percent of your daily recommended vitamin K, and 112. Listen, you're not listening to me. I don't give a shit about that. You, I don't care about the protein. Or any of that. You can save I money. I don't want dandelions. You don't, have to, you don't have to go to GNC as often. I don't go to GMC anyway. Do, Get rid of these. Do you go to Walgreens? Period. Do you go to Walgreens for your vitamins? No, I don't. And quit asking me questions about other stuff. I point blank, you get rid of these things that you planted. I don't care how you do it. If my lawn turns completely brown... You guys will wish it hadn't, because I will be oh, taking no. you to court. It's gonna, it's gonna turn yellow, because the dandelions are yellow. You know, up until it's the not eight... gonna turn yellow, because we're gonna kill all those. No, don't kill them. They're they're good for the earth. It's better for the earth than your dumb old grass. You're gonna come out and kill the damn thing. Oh do you no! Understand me? Oh, I wouldn't do that. I love dandelions. I don't give a shit what you love. I don't. You're going to come out and kill all these. I don't want any yellow in my yard. Sir, now that's racist. Did you know up until the 1800s, dandelions were seen as... I don't give a shit about history. Quit talking bullshit to me. I told you what I want. I don't want dandelions. Get rid of them. Period. That's it. Don't give me any more bullshit from you. Okay, I was just trying to tell you that back then people would get rid of... I don't give a shit. I don't care. They'd remove their grass. I don't care. They'd party like it's seventeen ninety nine. I don't care. I don't want dandelions in my yard. Okay, well, I have good news for you then. This is just a prank call. I'm not really with any lawn company. I don't even live around there. Then why are you calling me? I'm calling from the prank call call center. It's just a, a service we provide. We make prank calls. Roy? Roy? 2023... Phone losers. That's stupid. 2023. I love you, phone losers. Shut the fuck up. Who is this? Phone losers. 2023. Phone losers. I've been in the attic. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. 2023. I love you, phone losers. Cactus. 2023. Phone losers. What's your address again? Uh-huh. 16 of the Snowplow Show, and I'm your host, Brad. This is episode 820, and it's brought to you by CelebrityCash.com, Climatiz, SimSpeak, Big Mike, and Cactus Mike. They all support the show at Patreon.com slash Phone Losers, and they get an extra show most weeks called the Hobo Sodes. Last week, I did a Hobo Sode where I didn't do any carding calls. Doesn't that sound nice? If you think that sounds nice, then I have bad news for you. I'm doing nothing but carding calls in today's show. I recorded these calls on Tuesday, and I meant to have the show posted yesterday on Wednesday, but that just didn't happen. So I'm recording the intro and the voicemails on Thursday. We're going to have a meetup in uh, Chicago. Oh, wait, no, that already happened. Sorry. I guess I can erase that from my show notes list here. 
I don't really have any announcements today. I guess I could say that uh, we're doing car dings today. And if you want to leave a car ding note out there, even though Ding Timber is pretty much over, you can do that by writing a note that says, sorry, I dinged your car. Please give me a call back. My phone number is 913-721-6670. Sign the note, Roy, and leave it on a car. But maybe stop doing that soon, because come on, Ding Timber's over. You all are sick of it by now, aren't you? Thank you, everybody, for leaving notes this year and making Ding Timber come back. I think if we do this next year, I'll be a little more prepared. I won't be driving across the country in the middle of Ding Timber. I'm going to plan things better next year. Uh, The websites have been down lately a lot. I've been changing some stuff around, and some of that was my fault. Some of that was not my fault. But I think I have most of the stuff done that I wanted to do. So the websites are all working as of today, I think. I haven't checked all of them today, so please excuse the downtime. I know there was a couple of posts on Reddit pretty much saying that I was probably dead because, you know, the website went down. That means Brad's heartbeat has stopped. Thanks for that, predictors of death. By the way, if you're looking for a prank call community to hang out with, we're all pretty nice people over on Reddit and also over there on Facebook groups if you're into Facebook. And of course, there's a Discord, which you can find at worldofprankcalls.com slash Discord. You can find the Snowplow Show one on there as well as uh, a few others I think that still work. I really need to update that list. And if you want your Discord on that list, send me a message. Maybe I'll do it and maybe I won't. But you should definitely come and hang out with us in the PLA communities. I'm mostly in the Discord and on the Reddit sometimes. Occasionally I show up at the Facebook, but not too often anymore. Hey, so I got a note on my vehicle uh, that indicates that you dinged my vehicle. So uh, I expect a phone call back uh, from you at this number uh, very soon. And uh, you're going to be hearing uh, the clouds open up and uh, the rain coming down on you. Okay? So you better call me back. Yeah. What was that guy on the end? Yeah. You tell him, Steve, Dave. So somehow I'm going to hear clouds opening up. I didn't know clouds made noises. And that was from Friday. Today is Tuesday. So I hope he's okay with that long of a wait. I don't, oh wait, did I get any other voicemails from him? No, it doesn't look like it. I sent Dwight some phone numbers on um, Saturday night and he did some on his show and he got some good answers. I only sent him five numbers and I think he got two or three people to pick up, which is unusual. But I almost sent him that number. I'm like, no, no, Dwight doesn't get that one. That's mine. I want to talk to the guy getting all biblical on me. Hi, I'm a virtual assistant recording this call for the person you're trying to reach. Before I try to connect you, can I ask what you're calling about? Uh, This is Roy. I left a note in your car. Unfortunately, the person you're calling cannot take your call right now. Have a nice day. What? What the hell was that? That didn't sound like a real virtual assistant. Maybe that's just how they sound now, though. So, damn it, I should have just given that to Dwight. Hey, Roy, this is Michael. I, uh, I saw your note on my, uh, my car this morning. Just give me a call. Uh, so, that one, I, I remember the guy leaving this one because he posted it on Discord, on the PLA Discord. And it was a Ferrari, like a nice red Ferrari. And I should have called it immediately because I was home. But no, I'm a big jerk. I didn't call it. I'm scrolling back on the Discord trying to find that one so I can give him credit. But I can't find it. Wait, no. I think I think it's coming up. There it is. King Felix left this on someone's car in Beverly Hills. And I don't think he's called me back. Not from that same phone number anyway. Hey, this Roy? Yeah. Hey, how are you, Roy? Did you save me in your address book? No, but I recognize your number. I, I never called a 913 number before. Oh, that's Kansas. I used to live there. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for calling back. Well, um, Sorry it took uh, you you know, days and days. All right. Uh, do you know what? I don't know what happened. In, uh... Oh, I think I caved your hood in a little bit. Uh, oh. To be honest, I'm... I'm trying to lose weight, but I was trying to take sexy photos on the top of your car, like on the hood of your car, and it might have just popped back out again. It didn't. It what? No, it didn't. It didn't? No. Are you sure? Maybe I should have just asked you what the damages were first. I mean, I didn't take it anywhere. I I don't have money to pay for it right now. Is it still, uh, so it's your... Hoods all caved in still. 
like the there's a the man- bumper. The what? I don't. I don't know. What you, you are you are you still in the area? You still you live in the area? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in oh, over there. You know, Van Nuys. But uh, oh, you don't live on that street. Well, uh, I, I'm over there a lot because I work in the area. All right, so let's meet up one day and just talk and, and look at the car together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, it's, it's gonna be yeah, I was fun. just trying to take sexy photos for my Insta. Interesting. Yeah. All right. And, you know, you yeah, might not find them sexy, but I am trying to lose weight, and I'm just trying to, you know, take pictures to document the journey. And I thought I'd lay in your cool. car and... Had my friend take a photo. I but, see. But did I All put? Right, so let's. Uh, did I push the bumper can, down too? You, you, you said something about the bumper. Yeah, I think so. Because I was climbing up on the bumper. Yeah, so maybe you, you can you text me this number. We'll, maybe we'll text the time to meet up. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So like, um, I, like you, you haven't fixed it yet, though. I, I figured you'd be in a shop by now. Can't be driving around with a no. A fat man shaped hole in your hood, or dent. I mean, no, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm, you said you couldn't afford it. Why, why don't you just sell the Ferrari? Come on, get, get a yeah, right. get yeah. an Audi or something, and that way you'll have the money to <laughs> fix the hood. Yeah. All right, I, I I gotta go, but we'll text each other soon. All right. Where are you going? Thanks. Uh, I have stuff to do. Like what? Name one thing. Um, work. Where do you work at? Uh, I don't, I, I'm not interested in talking about this right now. Why not? Hello? All right, sir. Right. That's right. it. I'm hanging up. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I love you. Man, he just mumbled all through that call. I'm going to be turning up his volume, but it was kind of hard to hear him. And that was a boring call. Thanks for nothing, King Felix. What is wrong with that guy? He should have been yelling at me for taking my sexy photos on his hood. Hello, this is Aisha with... Um, I saw the message that you put on our van just now, so I'm just calling to follow up about that. Just now? Please give me a call at 6789... Okay, let's try sexy photos on the van. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. I could be on top of the van, I guess. Or I was trying to take it on the van, but I kept rolling off the hood. Yeah. Because the hood... Hello? Hello? Hey. It's Roy. I'm sorry, who? My name is Roy. I kept rolling off of your hood. Ma'am? Sorry? Oh, uh, I left a note on your car the other day. Oh, on the on the van, the edible van. Yeah. Right. Were you telling me about that? I'm sorry. Oh, I was trying to take some photos where I'm just like chilling on the hood of it, but like the hood was too small, and I kept falling off. You were sitting on the hood of the car. Yeah. Well, I was trying to like lay on the hood of the car, kind of like in a sexy fo- pose, and uh, I had a friend like holding my foot up. You're trying to hold... I, I don't know. So I was just wanted to take some photos for my Insta. And Is this a prank? No. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Why on a company van? Uh, I don't... It just... Uh, like, I liked the color scheme of the van, and it went with my clothing that day. So, you know. Um, here, hold on. Give me one. Okay. Okay, so you said that you you were sitting on on the hood of the van. Yeah, well, I was trying to lay on the hood of the van, you know, to spread out my mass so I could uh, stick up there better. And I so tried. Did anything? What? So something broke on the van. Well, I tried to hook the windshield wipers up to the uh, loop on the back of my jeans, and I think I heard that crack. Did the windshield wipers work? I mean, I haven't tried it yet. Oh. I haven't driven it in the rain. Oh, well, I'm sorry I dinged your car. At least it doesn't rain down okay. here that much. Okay, well, I'm going to try it tomorrow. Okay. Don't be angry. Right. I'm not angry. I'm just confused. I don't know if this is real or not. And oh, no. It's, it's real. It's it's just, you know, I was just trying to take some sexy photos. Bye.
but you know. My mom, what happens? I don't. And I will update you tomorrow after I find out whether the windshield wipers work or not, and then we'll go from there. Okay. What if it's just like a little bit, little bitty piece of the windshield wipers that doesn't work? I don't. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to see what the situation is tomorrow because I'm having a hard time believing what's going on, first of all. And second, we, we've we driven the van a couple of times. It just We just recently saw that note on there, and then we haven't, we haven't driven it in the rain, so we haven't had any use for the windshield wipers recently. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just I'll see what happens tomorrow because I literally just left the store like that. That complex, like right when you called me. Yeah. So, Turn around, quick. Go look at the van. Okay. Well, again, I'll see what I'll, I'll see is that a no? tomorrow. What the situation is with the van. But oh, okay. Thanks for giving me a call. You're welcome. All right. Uh, Bye. I, lo- I love you. Bye. Man, today's going awful. Nobody. Everybody's like low energy, myself included. So on the same Friday, King Felix left other notes on really nice cars. I think there was a Porsche in there somewhere. Yeah, Porsche 91 Carrera T, whatever the hell that is. But I don't see any other calls in here on that day from that area. So I guess I'll just see what the rest of these are. Roy, this is what be you hit my car in the parking lot. And if I don't get a call back from you, I'm going to make a police report. Oh, no. So please call me back at your earliest convenience and figure out how you're going to fix my car. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. Libby, why are you so angry? I kind of want to go back and search for her original voicemail. But nah. Let's just call her up. Hi. You've reached Libby. And thank you for your call. If you leave me a brief message, your name, and a phone number. Oh, hi. Uh, this is Wayne. I'm at 212380A, and I we just got back from Italy, so Ooh. I'm calling you Bragging. because you're the one that dinged my car, the VW, the silver VW, Ugh. and uh, I'm just Frickin trying to VW. call you back. I drive a um, Audi. We can talk uh, when you're free. Uh, let me know. I'm at two one. Hello, Wayne. Yeah, I called you like three times. It took that long for you to pick up. Oh, okay. Um, I got a voicemail from you where you're bragging about how you go to Italy all the time. Yeah, not all the time, just once. Well, I mean, the way you're bragging about it, I just. Um, mm. What are, What are you watching on TV? Oh, I'm watching uh, Fox News. Oh, it's super irritating because you're on the phone, you know? Yeah. So why don't you turn that the fuck off, please? Just mute, Pardon me? Just mute it or something. You can, you can watch the subtitles so you don't miss anything. Uh, are you sure you're who you are? Why? Why would you ask that? What the hell? What do you mean I'm who I am? Oh, I just noticed there's a second phone number in here that he stated in the voicemail. It's got the same area code and prefix, so maybe it's his wife. Hello? Hey, uh, we got disconnected somehow. Yeah. Hello? So you're the one that, that dinged my car, right? Yeah. Mm, okay. What happened? Did your phone so, your phone just so, went dead or something? No. Oh. I don't know what happened. Oh, you don't. Uh, you don't yeah, so me, what are you going to do about it? Me either. You got insurance? Yeah, I do. Um, I don't know. Is mm-hmm. the damage bad, though? Because I was hoping that the hood may have just popped back up after what I did. No. Uh, no, it, it's it's scratched on the... Got a nice scratch on it. Oh, no. Like on the door? No, on the back. Oh, I don't know if it's the back. I was on the front. I was to, I was taking pictures. I was laying on your hood, and my friend was taking pictures of me for my Instagram. Yeah. So I, okay. I, I don't know if I would have been, been touching the back. 
mostly I just, uh, you know, I climbed up on your hood. You know, I, I put my foot on the bumper and I climbed up there and I was uh, laying on your hood and then um, the, the hood caved in. Mm. So did it did it pop back out, baby? Yeah, it popped back out. Oh, good. So I don't have to do but anything. I, I don't know. The only damage I have is uh, where somebody uh, rubbed up against the car and it had a, a rubbed off some of the paint in the back. Oh no! That's the only thing I know. And you said that you you uh, uh, hit my car or yeah. damaged my car. Yeah, I dinged it. So, you know, it was just just because of me laying on it. I'm I'm well, a I, I'm a big dinged. guy. Yeah, quite fat. And uh, yeah. yeah, I just I don't know. I thought if I was laying on the hood, it wouldn't cave in because I'm all spread out, you know. But. Damn this weight. Yeah. So what are we going to do about the scratch? Uh, well, I don't think the scratch is mine. I think uh, maybe you should go to the store and buy a Sharpie that's the same color as your car and just color in that scratch. No, no I, got your t- I got your name, I got your telephone number, and I got a scratch. Yeah, but so- I didn't do the scratch. <laughs> I, did the, I did the hood. I'm take your part. What? I'm a- I'm not going to take your word for it. I'm going to process it through, and it's going to come back to you. I don't think so, because I'll just tell the oh, insurance I... company my side of the story, and they'll be like, yeah, you just damaged the hood. You didn't damage the back. How do we think we got your phone number? How do you think we got your phone number? Hey, um, you probably because probably I left it on the on the window. Where on the window? I don't know. Hey, can you tell that lady <laughs> in the background just to shut the fuck up, please? This is you know we're men talking, you, and she needs you need to, to you, keep you, her. You need to you need to wash your mouth out. You know who do you think you are talking like that? Well, she's she's the just end. you know we're trying to have a conversation here, and she's just it doesn't make any difference. Pipe it up in the background. People. What about people? You do not. You're not disrespectful to people. Well, I think it's disrespectful for you to try and uh, commit insurance fraud. No, it's not insurance fraud. You hit my car. No. You I, I, number. I laid on your hood I, and I caved car, I caved in the hood. You, yeah. You, you you didn't put you didn't put your note uh on the on the front windshield wiper where you say that it was on the hood. You put it in the back on the back window. Well, I just I didn't I didn't happened. want to mess up the crime scene right, up on on right front. There were right there were the scratch hat. Yeah, right. No, I like you're just making things up at this point. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Well, look, I'm going to tell you something. Oh. I got you. You gave me you. Yeah. I'm going to go get it done, and then I'm going to sue your ass for the for, for whatever the, it takes to clear it up. You got the, that? For the price of a Sharpie? No, I can tell you that's exactly what's going to happen. What the Sharpie thing? You're going to color it in with the Sharpie? That's a good decision, in my opinion. I'm going. I'm going to go down to the Volkswagen people who maintain my car. I'm going to get an estimate. We're going to get it done. Hey, while you, while you're I there, got, you should bra- okay. brag to them about how you were I just in you, Italy. I got your paper. I got your paper. Admitting to it. Yeah. And we're going to go. It's got my fingerprints on it too. No, it's a gotcha. It doesn't make any difference whether you have a difference or not. No, no, no. I'm just saying it's, that note has my fingerprints on it, so don't touch it a whole bunch. You admitted, you admitted to it. So, yeah. you know, too bad, too sad. But, but Goodbye. that doesn't give you the right to commit insurance fraud. That's hilarious that somebody put that on the back window, on the back wiper, because I said to do that, I think, in the previous show. I didn't really think anybody would. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, this message is for Roy. Uh, Roy, my name is Joe. Um, I got a note on my car uh, windshield this morning. Um, from, must have been on there last night, I guess, uh, that you had hit my car. Um, if you could please give me a call back at 913-241, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank okay. You. Let's call up Joe. Hey Joe, it's it's Roy. Hey, Joe. I, I left a note in your car. You did? Yeah. Yes, I'm yeah. listening. Okay, well, well, I did. Okay. That's that's the end. 
Wow, there's a horrible echo coming back at me. What's that about? You have shitty Bluetooth? Yeah, I'm... No, yeah, I am. I'm in my truck when you call me. I'm just leaving work. Hang on, let me see if I can put the speaker in. Okay. Are you there? Yeah. Hey, I'm not echoing okay, anymore. No, sorry about that. Yeah, it just automatically answers in the truck. So. Stupid thing. Um. Yeah, well, it's... uh. Technology, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't. It just automatically rings in the truck whenever I'm in the truck. So it's weird how that happens. I don't know if it just thinks to it or something. Yeah. So, um, okay. So you uh, you did hit the car and yeah. you did leave a note on my truck. Well, my I, I left the note. Okay. I didn't hit your car yet. Um, I might have miss. I might have miswrote how that was supposed to be. I said I'm. I hit my car yet. What? You left a note on my car, Roy? Yeah, but I didn't hit your car yet. I uh, said, I'm sorry, I'm going to ding your car. And I'm, I'm going, I, that's, that's going to happen in the future. It's not going to happen yet. I mean, it didn't happen yet. I, I don't understand that. Why would you leave? I mean, I filed a police report with the police. Why are you saying you're hitting my car in the future? It doesn't make sense to me. Well, was there damage to your car? Yes. No. There is damage to my car. Some, no, because I didn't even someone, hit it. I'm going to hit it on October 15th at about 9.04 okay. p.m. Okay. I'm, I'm going to fuck up the back of it really bad, and I'm sorry about that. I, I definitely have insurance, and I'll give that to you when it happens. And he hung up. And crap, he's got a police report. Mr. Roy, good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today? I. It's a voicemail, you fucking idiot. Your message on my car that you ding dang on my car. I ding dang. I would it. really appreciate you calling me back. My number is two one three twenty. I appreciate your call back. Thanks a lot. Okay. I can't believe I ding dang this guy's car. Hello. Hey, uh, it's Roy. Hey Roy, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. I, I left a note on your car. Yes, how are you doing today? I'm I'm really good. I'm just doing the best ever. Aside well, from happened? the ball what cancer. Happened? Sorry, what? How did you do that? Did, what happened? Oh, the the note, the the ding. Yeah. I yeah. was I was laying on your hood. I was laying down on your hood. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Are you are you in LA or you're back to Mississippi? Mississippi, what? Are, are you in LA? Oh yeah, yeah. Th- this is where I live. I used to live in Kansas. Slash, Kansas, Kansas, slash oh, okay. Mississippi, that's, 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 same thing. Yes, sorry about that. So that's where my brother is from. He's in Kansas, Kansas, Missouri. I don't know. He used to live there in Overland Park. He I, used to live there for twenty-five years. I don't know him. No, <laughs> that's okay. So I took the car to a body shop. I took the car to a body shop, and they said they're going to change. Uh, they're going to paint the whole fender and change it. It's going to cost eight seventy-five. They're going to paint the entire car. No, 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 Defender. Hold on one second. That's a good price. Okay. 875 yeah, for a whole car. No, 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 the whole car. Of course not. No, 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 just Defender. They have to change the Fender. The Fender? I, I can paint it. Said, I'm talking about the bumper. Oh, the bumper or the Fender? Those are two different things. No, the, the, well, I'm, not, I'm not a car guy, so I don't understand. I'm not either. Sure Give me an estimate of 875. I don't think I was on your Fender or your bumper. I was. I just got up on your hood, and I was laying on your car. I was laying on the hood. I, I don't know. My son took it, so he told me eight seventy five is the cost. I didn't get a chance. I'm a busy man. Yeah, but what about the hood? And don't don't brag about being busy. Come on. Hold on one second, Daniel. Yeah, look. How much they can get? How much they got there? Hood, get hood, get hood. Hood, 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 hood. Hood, hood, hood. I let I let you talk to my son. Hold on. Okay. He understand the car better. He understand the car better than me. Yeah. Hello. Hey, your dad was telling me how um, he's a very busy man and he doesn't have time for things. Like, did that affect you as a child? Was he always like, I'm too busy, son. I'm too busy doing yeah, doing all my- the time. Oh, what, a all di- the time. what a dick. Yeah, just like yourself. Hey, don't, don't say that. Come on. Why is that? Who are you? Uh, my name is Roy. I left a note on your dad's car while he was out being busy. And um, I think I might have damaged the hood, but he's saying it's the fender. But then he doesn't know the difference between a fender and a bumper. Yeah, he's he's an old man. 
Yeah. He didn't speak English well. He's a very busy old man. Okay, what? So you're going to send me my money? You know, he, he, um, he has a brother in Overland Park, but he uh, he moved. He doesn't live there anymore. What do you want, asshole? I, I don't know why he offered me that information. I'm just saying. I don't, like, he used to have a brother in Overland Park, but he doesn't anymore. What do you want, asshole? What do you want? Why are you calling me an asshole? I was trying to give you my you, insurance what do, information. What do you want? I was trying to give my insurance information. Who are you? Uh, my name's Roy. I left a note on your dad's car. Why would he give you the phone if you don't know this? I, I know. I, I, I got that note, but... You stupid asshole. Uh, how about this, my friend? How about this? Okay. How about this? Why don't you go and have a lovely day? How's okay. That? that sounds great. And I won't pay yeah. that $875 at all. How'd you get my number? Uh, your dad left it for me. Hey, t- tell your dad to I shut the fuck up, please. We're on the phone. Why don't you suck my dick? Why don't you suck my dick? Uh, yeah, we're on the phone. <laughs> What is wrong with that son? He doesn't know anything about the ding-ding on his dad's car. His very busy father. And I had a call coming in during that. Let's see if I can figure out what number was calling me. There it is. I found it. I think I was talking to this guy earlier. Your call has been forwarded. But he's not picking up now. Roy, this is uh, David again. I called you yesterday. You had left a note on my car saying that you had hit it. Um, it's It's been over 24 hours now, and I need to find out exactly what Uh-oh. happened. I need to get this taken care of immediately please call me as soon as you can uh, again this is david b- two seven okay he says he's already called me oh yeah no i see it down here let's see if there's more information in this one. Oh yeah giant foods tells me the city oh wait hold on this looks good hold on hey roy um this is uh, david b- it's about two ten on wednesday um i just came out in the giant foods parking lot uh here in west b- and got your note on my car uh, two seven six two. Um, not sure why you couldn't come back in and have them uh, look for me. This is pretty bad. Uh, you obviously had time to tell me I had a gay car. <laughs> um, give me a call back uh, as soon as possible, please. We need to uh, need to get this address. Thank you. Bye bye. We need to get this address. What does he mean? This address? That's a weird thing to say. And he said this looks pretty bad. Or no, he said this is pretty bad. So is he talking about the damage or just the fact that I called his car gay? I got to clear up that that was a compliment. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, David, it's Roy. Uh, I'm calling about the note that I left on your car at the Giant Foods. Uh, Sorry again for that. Please give me a call back. That sucks. He's not picking up. Hey, Roy, this is Jeff Hardy. Uh... Hop into my tractor and I noticed you have a note left on my tire. Uh, number one, hit and run. It's a questionable thing to do. Uh, you hit my tractor. I left a uh, note. I actually don't see any damage, but I'm going to need to call back before I go to the police. Uh, I'm going to need to sort it out because it's really pissing me off. So just call me back. All right. And then five minutes later, I got this message from him. <laughs> Well, you better answer the fucking phone next time I call you. I just went around my track and I realized there's a big ass fucking down on the side. I was parked on the side of the road. I don't know how the fuck you hit my car over a ditch. <laughs> I was fucking parked over a ditch on the other side. How the fuck did you hit my fucking tractor? You're, you're going to need to call me the fuck back before I go to the sheriff's office. Oh, shit. Uh, 402 Okay, let's call him back. Before he has a heart attack. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, uh, it's Roy. I got your voicemail. Uh, You left me a voicemail where you cursed at me a bunch. I don't appreciate it, but I was trying to call you back. Please give me a call back about the the car ding. Calm down a little. Man, I just Googled the phone number, the carding phone number for this year, and I should have learned this a few years ago, but Google actually does a thing where they take any writing they see in your photos and they transcribe it and put it in the description of the picture or the page that it's on. So there are two copies of the carding note on Google. Both are my fault. And then there's another one on Reddit, which somebody just posted in plain text. Thanks a lot for that. 
So a lot of these people are probably Googling the phone number and all the time that it's taking me to reply to them and they figure out it's a prank. So that's probably why a lot of these aren't answering anymore. They're probably just blocked by number or something. Hey, Roy. Um, I'm going back because I got a note left on my car that says that you hit it. Um, first off, how? It was in the back of a fucking parking lot away from everywhere else. It's bright red. I don't understand how you can see it. Um, but if you could call me back so we could like, resolve this because this is frankly kind of annoying. Um, um, yeah, I'd really appreciate it. And, and otherwise, I'll have to reach out to insurance and report your phone to the police. So, yeah, okay. I need your life story. Also, I suspect this one. Hello? Hey, how long have you been the listener of the Snowplow Show? Sorry, I'm on a police. Can you hear me? How long have you been a listener of the Snowplow Show? One moment, please. I gotta. I'm in a crowded room. Why can't you hear me? It's a simple question. Stay in the line. No, you know, fuck this guy. How long have you been a listener of the Snowplow Show? Sir. Hi. Hello. Why can't you answer the question that I've asked four times now? Uh, I I was in the room. I didn't hear you very well. I apologize. Okay. Well, I'm not going to ask it again. Fuck you. The rest of these, like I've gotten all the good ones now. Everything that's left is just stuff that I suspect of being listeners calling me up. So I'm probably going to be extra suspicious with them. What? Hi. I don't know who this was, but was, was there something I could help you with? Because I really couldn't hear anything. The, I left a note on your car. Oh, you still can't hear me? Okay, bye. Okay, maybe that guy is for real. Let's see if he calls back. I'll just let him call back every time he wants to continue the conversation. Yes? You're not going to hang up on me and then tell me that you hit my car. That's, like, not okay. Oh, I didn't hit your car. I just left a note on your car. What? So you were pranking me? No, it was a marketing thing. Uh, I work at a body shop. And, uh, you know, we're just uh, trying to... Now, hang on a minute. What, why, what, what the hell kind of marketing ploy is that? You made me got me all worked up and oh, shit. Oh, do I? Worrying that my car had been hit. Oh, calm down. It's just, it's just a car. Settle down. It's not like a... It's not, not just a car. I worked all summer for that. It's not like I <laughs> killed your mom. <laughs> what? I, car, I, damage. I hadn't, That didn't even exist. Oh, no. That, I didn't do any damage. But if there is damage... You should definitely come on down to Big Roy's Body Shop. You want me to go down to some body shop that lied to me about damage existing on my damn Mustang? Seriously? Yeah. So once again, how, how long have you been a listener of the Snowplow? I've ever heard. Oh, okay. Well, you know, uh, how, how many garages have you owned? Probably none. No, I haven't. But if I owned a damn garage, I sure as hell wouldn't be lying to people about damaging their vehicles. Gets me a lot of I business. What. What, if I, what if I went around telling other people that, that a body shop is a damage? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that was a good one, but uh, your shitty phone is cutting out, and I did not understand it. So, uh, anyway, uh, please give us a call back if you have any uh, car work you need done. We do body work. We do engine work. No, I don't. I, I, you made me not think I did, but are, if I are, want a body shop, I wouldn't be lying to people saying their vehicle is damaged when it's not. Are you new at being angry? Because um, I don't know, your angriness sounds really fake. Like the way you use the damn word all the time. It's weird. I, I, am, I am more of a than I am angry right now. Stupid <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, what if I just hang up? Well, then I guess you'll cut to my damn time, because let me tell you something. All right, I can't even understand them. But everything about that call was suspicious to me, but I actually think maybe it was real. Hi, Roy. My name's Jackie. Um, this is my second voicemail. I left. You left me a note on my car Thursday night or Friday morning um, about dinging my car. It is a work vehicle, so I need you to call me back so that I can um, talk to you. I have called this lady back so many times. Quit trying to blame me, lady. This one's from a couple weeks ago. Hello? Jackie. Yeah? 
Hey, it's Roy. I left a note in your car. I've been trying to call you back. Oh, what's going on? Oh, not much. Just, uh, you know. Trying oh, to... I... What? Go ahead. Oh, I'm working on my websites. I'm trying to fix my websites. They're all broken. Okay. Well, you, um, you well have... you said you... Yeah, no, that's fine. You said that you had, like, hit my car, dinged my car, but I wasn't exactly sure where. Oh. So, um, so I mean, so what... Did you just say oh? Oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, that was, um, yes, I did. Is, I, I was called it in, you the next day. Was I it, called you the next, like, couple days. Well, calm down. I was, you know. Okay. I was in jail. I don't jail. need you to tell me to calm down. I am call. I am calm. Okay. You were I, in jail? It was, well, don't worry about that part. I was, when I wrote the note, um, I did it on the windshield with a calligraphy pen, and it scratched right through on the window. And, you know, some of it was ink, right. some of it was scratched up. I'm just sorry about All that. All right. I'm, I, yeah, you make no sense, so just, we're good. So, goodbye. Well, did you... F- I make no sense. Whatever. Okay, Jackie. At least I finally got a hold of you. Hi, Jackie. I had a note on my car this morning at the sleep-in that you had deemed my car. Um, you can call me back on this number. Thank you so much for the note. That was very kind. Um, but my number is 27. Didn't I just talk to a Jackie? I know she wasn't in this area code, though, so it can't be the same one, right? Hello? Jackie? Yes? It's Roy. Roy? Yeah. Uh, Roy, what's your, Roy who? Uh, old Roy's your bell. I left that note on your car. Oh, 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 oh. When we were in Louisville? I think so. It was like at a hotel. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I'd completely forgotten about that because it's been a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tried to call back, um, but I, I was just having troubles getting through, I guess. Oh, did, I'm sorry. Did you see the, the damage on your windshield? Um, oh, it was on the windshield? Yeah, it was when I was, I was writing the note saying, sorry, I dinged your car. I was writing it on your windshield, and it was a sharp pin, and it just went straight through and, and engraved the note into your windshield. <laughs> I did not see that. I'm walking outside now. Oh, okay. It engraved it into the windshield? Yeah, well, I was, I was using like a calligraphy pin. And it just it tore through the paper and uh just went right into the windshield as yeah. I was leaving the note and that's that's what the damage was. But you were writing the note that you dinged my car. Yeah. Yeah, I said sorry I dinged your car. Uh I think I said my name is Roy and I gave you my phone number. Okay, but what ding were you talking about? Uh it's in the windshield. It's like as I was writing that note. It uh, it just tore through the paper. I mean, it wasn't an actual calligraphy pen, but it may as well have been. It was like a really sharp thing. And it's here on the driver's side? Yeah, yeah. I do not see it. Hmm. I think what I'm confused about is if you were writing, I d- you dinged my card. How did you know you dinged it when before you wrote the note? I mean, well, I'm just confused on that. Well, it was like as I was writing the note. It just it scraped right through there. Are you looking on the top of the window? That's kind of like near the, like the top. I do window. not see it. I'm sorry. Hmm. Odd. I'm, I'm sure it was there when I, when I wrote the note. Yep. I'm, I think everything's just fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, that's so weird though. I, I know I saw that etched into your window. Maybe it was just the way the sunlight was hitting it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think what confuses me is. If that is what the ding was, but you were writing the note, sorry, I dinged your car. Yeah, I was writing that, and it, that's that was the issue. I shouldn't have done that in your window. I'm so sorry. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I just scratched right through there. Huh. I, I won't yep, do that. I don't see it. I won't do that again. Maybe someday when the, okay. when the sunlight hits it just right, you'll see my note again appear on your window. Okay. I I will take a look at it. <laughs> okay. Night. I definitely won't use a calligraphy pen next time.
Okay, sounds good. Thank you so uh, much for calling. Really dumb of me. All right. Well, thank you so much. All right. I love you. You have a good night. All right. You too. I love you. Bye. I'm pretty sure she had a kid in the car. Maybe the kid can help her figure out the riddle. Hi, Roy. This is Tria. Um, you can call me back at 313 Uh You dinged my car last night. Uh, give me a call back. Thank you. That's right. I did. Hello. Tria. Yeah. Hey, it's Roy. I left a note on your car about the ding. Yeah. So, yeah. I uh, call and I called back a couple times. Yeah, that was like forever ago. I've been busy. Yeah. Okay. Where Where did you ding it at? In the back? Oh no, on the hood. I was laying on the hood. You were laying on my hood. Yeah, I was laying down on your hood. And um, I mean the the hood just kind of caved in. Like I, I didn't know they made cars so weak like that. I, I've always been able to just get on my hood and stuff. I guess your car is different. And why would you be laying on my hood? I was on my lunch break, so I just kind of got out there and tried to take a nap, but I, I didn't manage to really doze off at all. I was just laying on your hood for about thirty-five minutes. That's that's the guy that says he's laying on my hood. So what now? Hello. Hi. Who's this? Hey. Who's this? This is, this is her husband. What's going on? Oh, Tria's husband. Yes. Hello, Mr. Tria. What's going on? That's weird that you don't like. You don't have a name. Like your identity is just her husband. Weird. Yeah. Who is this? Uh, this is Roy. I left a note on Tria's car. Oh, when it was on on. Um... He said he said oh, what, what? Yeah. yeah, what was that? What was yeah, that hey, hey, you tell Tria just to shut up because she handed you the phone so me and you could talk about it man to man. So you just tell her okay, to shut shut that okay, trap of hers. Okay, what's going on? Um, I just, you know, I'm sorry that I dinged Tria's car. I, I, was, I, la- I was laying on the hood and it caved in. Okay. Sorry. What? what? Okay, what was what what I didn't see, I didn't notice that. I didn't see that what's going on. Well, maybe the hood popped back up and everything's fine. Okay. Like, yeah, everything's fine. What? Why was she laying on my car? Yeah, well, she wanted to know why was you laying on the car? Okay, why is she asking questions? Why didn't she just pick up the phone and tell you Wait to get out of the room? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What what is who is this? And what what is this all about? Oh, I already told you. My name is Roy and I left a note okay. on Tria's car. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. Why is she coaching you and asking you to say things? Why couldn't she just stay on the phone and talk to me? Uh, because we want to know who this is about, and this is a husband talking to you now instead of her. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because she's still talking. So it's like a three-way call, except I can't really hear her that well. It's okay, really, okay. Tell her, first, to, tell, her, tell her to stop being stupid. <laughs> tell Tria to stop being stupid. <laughs> Hello. Hey, uh, we got disconnected somehow. Hello. We got disconnected somehow. It's Roy again. Yeah. Okay. Wh- okay. What do you want? What happened? I, I hung up because I didn't want to know. I want to know why you talking to my wife. Why you said he calling her? W- why am I? Wait. You wanted to know something, so you hung up. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. What do you, what do you want out of this phone call? Oh, I don't know. You did, hit her car. You hit her car. Left a note. Well, nah, it's okay. We ain't worried about it. What I do didn't you want? hit it. I didn't hit it. I just caved in the hood. Uh, okay. I was trying to find out if she wants my insurance information. No, we fine. We we don't we don't need none of that. We good. Okay. Well, calm down, sir. Calm down. Stop yelling. Okay. You motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. All right, you too. All right, you uh, too. Tell Tria I love her. Tell her what? Tell Tria I love her. Okay. And uh, we'll you know, her. I'll never forget the, the times we had. Sir, this is Lieutenant Otto at the Russell Police Department. Is there something I can do for you? Hi, Lieutenant Otto. What's your badge number, please? 267. Okay. What do you want? Is, is, 
I'd like to know if there's something I can do for you. Uh, I don't know why you would even be on the phone. What are you, a fucking idiot? You grab someone else's phone call and ask if I can do something for you? Actually, he came to me because he said you were harassing him. No, no, I'm just returning the call from the okay. from the time I dinged their car. Okay, well... Two weeks ago. They're okay. Okay, so they're okay. They don't need your assistance. Okay. They're going to take care of it themselves. Weird. They, they, didn't, like ta- they didn't take care of this phone call themselves. They had to go get a okay. policeman's help. Like, police, police, okay. help. This guy is harassing me. He's called twice. Okay. Oh, no. So, what, do we, what do we do? What do we do? Arrest this man okay. for calling us twice. Okay, sir. So they'd like you not to call them anymore. Oh, okay? I won't. I won't. I mean, we were just about at that point where we were going to hang up and I would never call them again. But then he gets the police involved. But then you, you call them a motherfucker and then you started talking about his wife. Well, so his that wife, was, that his was the wife, inappropriate part. he was being a motherfucker and his wife was being kind of stupid. Okay. That, that's real mature, sir. Okay. Well, I'll, you know, you asked, so. Okay. All right, sir. Take care. Have a great night. All right. Goodbye, fake cop. I don't really think that was a fake cop. I think that was a real cop. Unless he's just like some security guy at wherever they were. But come on, why is he getting the cops involved for no reason? Just wasting their time. I would never waste a cop's time like that. Roy, this is Andrew. You, I think, left me a message on a three and a half inch floppy in my Miata that said you dinged the car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd like to know where you dinged I it. I saw a picture of that three and a half inch floppy on Reddit. Person who posted our phone number on Google. Um... I don't really see anything major here, Uh, so I'm not really sure if it was just a little ding or I'm missing something. I've walked around it three times, but at any rate, appreciate you leaving me the message. Yeah, anytime. I don't think there's anything you can do without knowing exactly where you dinged it, so give me a buzz, 845. Okay, let's give him a buzz. This is Andrew. Leave a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording... Come on, Andrew. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. This is Andrew. Leave a message. Oh, he's... Okay, he's hitting the FU button. This is Andrew. Leave a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Andrew, I've been trying to get a hold of you. It's about the car ding. My name is Roy. I left you a ding note on a floppy disk. And you have to look at the floppy disk to see the damage. Uh, I took a picture of it on my floppy disk camera. So, uh, yeah, please get back with me and uh, I'll give you my insurance information. Bye. Cisco Kids, Cactus Corner. Play those voicemails. Brad! Snowplow Show. We put the tingle in the downstairs. Hi, Brad. It's uh, Namesake Jake from Virginia. Um, Why, hello there, Jake. I just wanted to call in because I've been listening uh, back to the catalog, um, and I heard an idea on episode 637 that I thought was really funny, that I thought would be um, a good idea to bring back for Halloween. Okay. Um, You said on that show that you, I think, let me see, it was 13 minutes in, you were telling people that you had created a nightmare machine that was... (laughs) Um, giving people nightmares in like a couple mile radius. Yeah, I just thought that would be something. It's like one of those military weapons. Kind of funny to bring back for Halloween this year. Okay. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for all you do. I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> like, did it work out? I can't imagine anybody believing that. Hello. 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 Hey. Uh, it's Merrick. Hey. Uh, you know, I just listened to like an old. Uh, you better other, talk uh, faster. Your time's running out. I think I'll show episode. And like at the end of the song, it played a. Or at the end of the, the song, at the end of the show, and like it was fucking King Richard. And he was saying like he called people, and he was saying like uh, they were like, "Who are you?" And he he would be like. Oh, good thing you don't remember me, because you look like a memory, like a you erased your memory, so you don't remember anything. Something like that. Um, All right, like, thanks for the voicemail. It goes on for a little while longer. I don't know what he's getting at. I don't have time for this shit. Hey, Ryan, this is DJ 
He's a sperm donor at 69. Hey. Man, these fucking phone losers of America prank calls you do are fucking hilarious. That's all I want to say. Thank you. I'm from Florida. Thanks for not being a two minute long voicemail. Hey, Brad. It's next door, Nick. Hey, Nick. And, uh,. There's a chance That's I- how he introduced himself at the meetup, by the way, in Chicago. He walked up, he's like, hey, Brad, it's next door, Nick. And I'm like, hey, Nick. I might be going to the Seattle area in the near future. Oh, no. So besides uh, stalking DSP at a snort fort in Renton, I was wondering if uh, Rappy has any suggestions for sightseeing in the Lake Hills area. I Anyways, bye. don't know. It's a shame I'm not Rappy. And I can't answer that question because I don't know. I don't think I've ever been to Lake Hills, unless by accident, maybe. Hey, Brad, it's Haley's Comet calling up. Hey. I want to thank you. Thanks to your show, I have now been inspired to start answering the phone when uh, spammers and telemarketers call uh, with Roy's Cactus Shack in Roy, New Mexico. Archie's the manager speaking. Roy ain't here. Uh, so you've enabled me to, to combine my snarkiness with my very nerdy love of old time radio. Good. So, thank you, Roy. By the way, I think everybody should do that. That's how everyone should answer their phones. Uh, if you check the date and time this message was arrived, and then check the Beverly bot, I just finished up a call with a uh. spammer who thought Beverly was real and was trying to get me to read her the Roy's Cactus Shack menu over the phone. I'd like to go check that for you. But I don't know. I think my asterisk server is set in a different time zone. So the odds of me lining that up, I, I just don't know. Yo, bro. Hey. Last time I sent you a message, you didn't like it. The time before? Oh, God. You said you didn't like it. Yeah, maybe stop calling in and talking about your previous messages and just say something new. How about that, sir? Hey, Brad. It's the trash man. This is my third call in. Wow. I'm about to see Saw X. I'm in like an hour early, so wow. I'm just sitting here listening to the Snowplash show. Thought I'd give you a call. Like in the Are theater? you a fan of the Saw movies? Do you like them at all? You're yeah. going to be like, no, uh, I don't care. But Pretty I- much. I mean, I, I saw the, the first one, and I think that was it, and it was enjoyable, but I didn't feel like continuing. I had no idea there was 10 of them now. You should see them anyway, because they're my favorite horror franchise. Yeah. Oh, God, I got to take a bit. Okay, thanks for the voicemail. Hey, Brad. Um, I was just listening to the latest Snowplow show in the voicemail section. You said you did a zine back in the 90s. Oh, that's weird. In the uh, transcription, it says the latest Snowflake show. I thought you were insulting us or something. Uh, is there anywhere that uh, we can read that? A zine? Back. It's not a paper zine. It's uh, you know electronic zine. I didn't even know paper zines were a thing in the 1990s. But I wish I did. I probably would have done that too. So if I go to phonelosers.com and I click on other things and then read PLA things and then read the old PLA zine, there are so many subdirectories all over the site. I have too much stuff. But then there they are, uh, issues 1 through 46. And they all seem to be working. Uh, The formatting isn't the best because they were originally formatted for a DOS computer. With a, you know, a square screen. I haven't really updated a whole lot. And some of the stuff I did update is... Uh, it doesn't look like it worked that well. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, phonelosers.com slash zine. That's where you can read the zine. And there's a lot of boring stuff in there. Like, that just pretty much applies to 90s technology. And it's not that interesting in the first place. But there's the occasional awesome issue in there. You might like some of it. I know there's, like, transcripts of prank phone calls in there that we didn't end up recording, but they were so funny, I just tried to transcribe them. Those used to be fun to read. I don't know if they are in this decade, though. Hey, Brad, it's Patrick. Hey! From Illinois, and I just had a chance to listen to episode 819, Small Dick Energy. Yay. What a great episode. Why, thank you. you. Oh, my God, you met Beverly. Beverly's real. (laughs) It's a real person. This adds a whole new level to the program, Brad, because now are you calling people. Now you're going out and, and meeting them. You met a re- recipient in the flesh. That was pretty well, great. Very obviously, the next step then, logically, is for you to become a recipient by going to their house while they're at work and sneaking in and wearing their clothes and, and becoming one of them. 
Okay. Oh, anyway. And I'll sleep in their beds. I'll eat their food. Very excited to hear the new show. Hope you're having a good week, Brad. Make good choices. Bye. You know, if Go Cup Guy still existed, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure he's dead because he was so old. But I could have gone down there and visited him. I don't know how I would have, like, maybe just shown up at his door and tried to sell him something. Probably get the police called on me. Hey, Brad, this is Mano One. I wanted to say that I think it's time for you to play the song Son of a Cactus again. It's been a long time. I think it's Cody No Name who made that. Okay. And uh, it's a really awesome song, and maybe a lot of your uh, listeners haven't heard it. And also, play some of my uh, the three tracks I made for you. Um, see if you can find them again. I can only um, play one thing. I mean, I, I could play four things, but yeah, I'll try to find Cody No Name's song. I, I know that song. I'm sure it'll be easy to find. You take care. Love you. Bye. Bye, man of one. Okay, last voicemail. Hello, this is Beverly Fan six nine six nine six nine. Hey, calling from Arizona. Hello. I'm calling because the new uh, carding calls are really funny, and I like them a lot. Why? Thank you. And maybe you can say that you uh, where you're. I like the ones where you're saying that you were trying to break into the car and left a note. You can also tell them that you left your drugs in the car and ask that they can give them back to you. You did a similar thing with uh, the mechanics, or I don't remember who, but. He loved the good work. This is running long. Bye. Did I did I leave my wrench in their back seat or something? Sounds like something I would do. Anyway, I think that is it for today's show. Thank you, CelebrityCash.com and Climatiz and Simspeak, Big Mike and Cactus Mike. No relation, those two, as far as I know. Leave notes on cars if you want to, but really, Ding Timber's over, so why would you? But I will continue to keep checking the voicemail and doing Ding Calls. But I think on the next episode of the Snowplow Show, maybe it's time to start doing non-Ding Calls again. Maybe just throw in a few Dings, if there are any. But uh, I'm having a hard time getting answers at this point. Like, all the ones that have not been answering all month, they're still not answering. But the carding number is not going anywhere until next year, so continue to use it if you want to. It's just like the old prank line. I mean, it basically is the old prank line. So you can use it for the next year to just send weird phone calls to, like the guy that's always sending yard sale people out to Beverly Hills to an address that doesn't exist. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you next time. Oh, and I am required to play Son of a Cactus by Cody No Name. Hopefully I can find that. I'm just reminding myself for when I edit the show and put the song on. Brad, don't forget, play Cody's song. So flustered by this call, my face is turning red. Then he says he's just playing the only call to distract us. Man, the temerity of this son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. It's a so day at work. I'm feeling pretty bored. When I get a call and it's Steve Steve Dave Dave from corporate. Hey Steve Dave, what can I do? Yeah, we have some problems. I need a favor from you. Maybe I can pull some orders if you give me a phone number or two. Yep. Yep. Sure, here's some numbers. Anything else you need? Does a phone survey and someone kicks me in the knees? A few minutes later, I got people calling back this saying, What the hell are you guys doing filling my engine with acid? Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Now this is a story that might sound weird. Who's watching Hallmark Channel drinking some near beer? That's when my buddy calls Frank from the association. But what Frank said next gave me hesitation. Said he killed my lawn and my trees got to go. 
building a cell tower, selling China all my info. I need to like a Facebook or I'll get evicted. And my internet use is gonna be restricted. Then he says, Tell your wife to shut the fuck up. Can't believe what you're saying to me, Frank. I'm drunk. drunk, he says. Yeah, I'm wasted, but I've always disliked you. Put my garbage in your can and tip them over just to spite you. Hate your uncle fence. It's covered with mold. And I can't stand you because you're so damn old. But Frank, we're like the same age. This is so out of character. This call's so strange. You've thrown me for a loop. I think I'm feeling faint. Are you being serious with me, Frank? Nah, I'm just kidding. It's a prank. What? Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Bob W. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Steve Dave. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus. Sensei Dog. Son of a cactus. He's the son of a cactus.